You guys already knew I was going to do this. I am so excited to try this out. This is going to be my first Cosmos duo run. True duo run, too. Absolutely no support. So we're bringing the wife, the waifu. We're bringing the goat. He's only Crystal 62, but the man doesn't need anything more than that to be completely just absolutely dominating. So this is going to be as much of a Warrior Flight showcase as it is just slapping a Cosmos boss around. So should be fun. I'm bringing Shiva as the boss because this guy does... I'm um, <laughs> as the boss. I'm bringing Shiva as the summon because this guy loves to spam uh, brave HP attacks. And so Shiva really helps me stay on top of that and keep this guy under control. Because I do... I am going to be taking a lot of HP damage. And so I need to make sure that Lightning and Wolves EXs have time to charge. So, if you are not familiar, <clears throat> here's what Warrior of Light does now. So, uh, ability 1, he batteries the entire party. Uh, actually, we're going to HP attack plus. He batteries the entire party twice. He gives the entire party a shield. And he grants himself, I believe it's called Will of Light. It's a frame buff. Yes. So, it raises the party's max brave and attack. And it also grants a brave regen effect. As if, as if it wasn't loaded enough. And his second ability now hits for four times. It batteries the party a pretty massive amount. It, it's a little silly. <clears throat> and does an HP attack now. Of course. So, the, the, the worst thing about his kit now is his EX. Which, <laughs> which is pretty funny to think about. But it's true because his EX is pretty ancient. Uh... And it really shows, because, you know, now he's this walking powerhouse, and then his EX is just like this... Meh. <laughs> but it is really nice, because it does give healing. So, combined with Wool being so broken, I mean, you can just forego healers and stages sometimes. So, yeah. Also, I did not... I wasn't... Because I was talking, I wasn't paying attention, and uh, Lightning's uh, shield buff had actually ran out. So, I'm lucky she didn't die there. ability use there. Alright, well, since he's targeting wool, I can sort of... Yeah, he's... We'll just deck plus. Oh, and then on top of all of that, here's something else I just remembered when I'm sitting here ruminating on how broken wool is. So, uh, when he has his Will of Light buff, he gets a Brave plus and an HP plus. Cool stuff. Uh, the HP plus raises his Brave based on his int Brave before the HP attack. However, however, if the entire party, so three people, so I'm not going to be able to show it off, unfortunately. But if the entire party of three has the shield buff, his Brave and his HP attack turn into a plus plus version. So the Brave plus plus just has extra potency. You know, nothing, nothing too fancy. The HP attack plus plus turns into a Brave attack HP attack. So, yeah, there's a lot of pluses. I just said the word plus more times in the last 30 seconds than I've said in probably the last five years. So I can understand if you're a little lost, your eyes are kind of rolling in the back of your head, because mine are, so I get it. All right, uh, okay, Lightning still has a turn on her shield buffs. Yeah, we'll throw Buckler then. Alright, and yeah, we're going to Shining Shield, save that break for Lightning. It's a shame I'm not getting, uh, I'm not in Ravager stance every time 3X is ready to go, but... It's just the way it goes sometimes. <clears throat> My EX is almost ready. So, you know, we'll just HP attack plus. I mean, granted, this is with Synergy, but his HP attack plus, which is the bad one, is, is giving himself like a 12,000 regen effect before he attacks. So, 
pretty pretty crazy stuff, man. His cat, man, it broke. Okay, finally we're in Ravager stance. We can delay this guy two turns. Okay, let's definitely get that shield back up on lightning. Okay, so this is likely going to be uh, another brave HP attack. So luckily I've gotten everybody back up to almost full health. Okay, yeah, let's flourish, get the break. Get a free turn here. Okay, I think we're going to summon right now. I'm fairly certain that's going to be his Brave HP attack, so I think summoning right now is a good option. Try and burst him down as much as possible here. So I definitely want to be in Ravager stance for that EX plus. Um, and then, yeah, I think, okay. So I'm going to save the EX because if that is indeed the Brave HP attack, I'm going to eat a massive HP attack to the face and I want to be able to heal up the damage as much as possible. I don't think I'll be able to kill him off before he gets a turn. It'll be close! It'll be definitely be close, but... Yep, he's gonna... Yep. Boom. I knew it was coming. That's why I saved the EX for some last second healing. Oh. Lightning. Take it away, girl. Wool so thick, we're dropping zeros! And that's a wrap, folks. That's a dual run. No support. Didn't need it. We had the goat. We had the waifu. That's all we need. That is all we need. So yeah, guys, this stage, <laughs> this stage is really fun to run if you have synergy. Uh, if you don't have Warrior of Light, oh, and that's even a, a full clear too. Awesome. Barely by 890 points. That HP damage really hurt. But if you don't have Warrior of Light, there is a banner up right now with his EX and Sean Tater Tots EX up right now. This man right here is going to trivialize the Abyss. He's going to trivialize Cosmo stages moving forward. And to be completely honest, early on in the 70 era, I don't think you need his EX for him to be completely dominant. I really don't. He has so many ability charges. I mean, the man can just dominate without even trying. So even if you don't get his EX, I, you know, I say don't fret. You know, that's my opinion. Um, late, late in the 70 era, though, it'd probably be a good idea to have that EX because it's just it does help with his longevity, a little bit of healing for the party. Um, but even if you don't have the EX, you're fine. I really think you'll be okay. So that's my wisdom, my two cents for the day. Take it as you will. Guys, enjoy the 70 era. It is finally upon us. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <sighs> okay. So, yeah, I'm going to go do some more Cosmos co-op. 
and uh, do some Edoja breaking. You guys have a great night, a great day. Take care, and thanks so much for watching. See you guys soon.